Hello Year 3 and welcome to Tuesday's Maths lesson. Really great to have you here and hope you've managed to find lots and lots of horizontal and vertical lines that we were looking at yesterday. Anyway, today we're going to learn about some other names of lines and we'll be doing some more line hunting. But to start with, we're going to start with some of our mental maths just as a quick warm up. So today we're going to be using our number bonds to 20 to do some subtractions. So let's have a look at this example. We've got 20 subtract 7. So if I'm going to take 7 away from 20, you can see here I've got my 10 frames. So we can just simply cross 7 off there and we can see that we've got 10 left here and 3 there. So our answer, if we add those together, is going to be 13. Now, I've put up here that you need to be able to use your knowledge of your number bonds to do this. And let me just show you how we can do that by counting up. So if I start at seven, what could I jump to that would make my maths nice and quick and simple? That's right, we could go to 10, can't we? Because we know that seven plus three gets us to 10. And then we know that from 10 to 20 is just another adding on another 10. So you can use your number bonds to add up to 10 and then count up to 20. So let's have a look, see if you can do these questions, choose your challenge, pause the video, have a go, see how you get on. I'll see you in a moment. Great job. Let's have a look then. You can check your own answers. If you made a mistake, have another look at it carefully and see if you can work out where you went wrong. Super. Let's have a look now at our main lesson focus for today. And today we are going to be looking at parallel and perpendicular lines. Now those are some very new words to you, so let's say them together. We've got parallel and perpendicular. And to be successful today, we're going to need to remember what a right angle is, and we're going to be spotting lines that are parallel and perpendicular. So to learn about these, let's have a look. Parallel lines. Parallel lines are straight lines that never meet. A bit like on a racetrack or on a railway line. However, many, however far they go, they never cross. So they're always the same distance apart. And you can see here that we've got a ladder as an example. That's a really great example because the ladder doesn't get any narrower. And if I were to make those lines longer, all the way to the top of my page, they wouldn't meet. They'd still stay the same distance apart. So that's parallel lines. And perpendicular lines cross and meet at a right angle. So you can see here, oops, don't want that one. You can see here that we've got the line of the tennis net and the post meet at right angles. And it's showing you also another example on the drill, drilling straight into the wall and the wall it's meeting at a right angle. 
Now, to give you a bit more of an explanation, I'm going to show you a short clip and then we'll get on with our task for today. Today we're going to look at two more really useful words when we're thinking about lines and shapes, parallel and perpendicular. You may have heard definitely parallel uh, before, possibly not perpendicular. Perpendicular is just a word really that we'd use in maths and possibly sort of in architecture. Parallel possibly a bit more of a common word in everyday use. Here we've got two lines and we can say that these lines are parallel. What does that mean? When we look anywhere down the line we can see we're three squares apart. The two lines are three squares apart. So they're parallel. They're never going to touch each other. If you imagine those lines carrying on up the page, or along the screen, uh, above the screen or below, they would never be the meet. They'd always be three squares apart. So are those lines parallel? Well they're never going to meet are they? You can see they're not meeting, they're not touching. But imagine them carrying on, especially going upwards. They would meet wouldn't they? So they're not parallel. Even though they don't meet on the drawing we have, you've got to imagine the lines continuing and are they going to be meeting if they were allowed to continue and yes they would so they're not parallel and we can see even with the drawing we have they're not the same distance apart all the time you can see the bottom they're much further apart than at the top are those two lines parallel you can look and see that yes they are if you imagine them continuing they would never meet so they are parallel so they're not vertical or horizontal lines they're diagonal lines it doesn't matter Parallel lines can be horizontal, they can be vertical, they can be diagonal, and we'll see in a minute, they can be other things as well. So, being parallel is nothing about being straight up or straight across. It's about never meeting the other line. And people often talk about parallel lines and they think about train tracks. So you can imagine two train tracks for the left and the right of the train, they're never going to meet, are they? Because if they did, the, the train system wouldn't work. There are some special symbols we use they show parallel lines and they are arrows the arrows can be facing either way they can be facing up I think normally I tend to see them facing up but they can be facing down as well but when you've got an arrow on both of those two lines that means that they're parallel there's no need to get a ruler out to check and um, that they're the same distance apart all the time that symbol means that they're parallel let's have a look at these two sets of lines are these two sets of lines parallel well the top one We've got two very different lengths of lines, haven't we? Um, one, length, one line is much longer than the other. But being parallel is nothing to do with length. You can have different lengths of lines. Being parallel is to do with are they staying the same distance apart or if they carried on forever, would they meet? And we can imagine that no, those two lines would never meet. They'd stay the same distance apart. So they are parallel. Let's show it with the arrow symbol. Are these two lines parallel? Yes, they are, because you can see within the curve, they are curved lines, they're not straight lines, but again, that does not matter. You can have non-straight uh, parallel lines. They're never going to meet at the same distance apart all the way. And if we think back to our train lines, train tracks do curve, they do bend, so trains can go around the corners, etc. But they, are, they still are parallel lines. Your first have a go today. You've got four pairs of lines, decide whether or not each is parallel. And if they are, mount it, show it with the arrow markers. So A, they're not meeting, they're not touching, and they are the same length, those two lines. But if you imagine them continuing downwards, they would meet, so they're not parallel. B, they're different lengths, but we know that does not matter. If we'd imagine them carrying on, they would never meet, so yes, those two are parallel. C, we've got almost a bit of a wave. Uh, going on there and see but they're staying the same distance apart all the time so yes they are parallel and D we've got very different lengths but length doesn't matter it's about whether if they continue would they meet and this time we've got to continue upwards imagine that small line continuing upwards they would meet so no they're not parallel the word we're going to learn today is perpendicular these two lines are perpendicular and you may well see the angle between the first two lines. We've learned about this angle, which shown with its special symbol. That's a right angle, isn't it, between those two lines. Two perpendicular lines, or two lines of perpendicular, when they meet, or they would meet, at a right angle. And we can see there, 
those two lines are meeting at a right angle. Are those two lines perpendicular? Well, they're not meeting, are they? But just like we did with the parallel lines when we imagine the lines continuing, we need to imagine the lines continuing. In this case, imagine that horizontal line continuing. They would meet at a right angle. So yes, those two lines are perpendicular even though they're not actually meeting. Are those two lines perpendicular? Well, the grid here can help us because they're at a bit of an angle or at a diagonal, so you may be thinking, oh, they're not, they can't be perpendicular because they're at a diagonal. But that does not matter. Imagine them both carrying on and imagine them meeting there. They would be meeting at a right angle. So those two lines, they are perpendicular to each other. They would meet at a right angle. Which of those sets of lines are perpendicular? A, you can hopefully see that straight away, that's definitely perpendicular. B, they do meet, but that looks to be larger than a right angle to me, so it's a no for that. For B, C, they're not meeting, but imagine that they were meeting, and it would be a yes, they would meet at a right angle. And D, it's at a um, bit of a diagonal there, but we can see that yes, they are perpendicular to each other. Super. So let's see if we can complete these sentences now. Parallel lines are lines that are the, oh, something distance apart. So they are the what distance apart? That's right, they're the same distance apart and never what? Can you remember? They never meet. Super. And here we've got some examples. So even though they're going round a corner on this one, they're still the same distance apart all the way around. And even on the third example here, where they're bending round a corner rather than curved, they are all still the same distance apart. Now, have a quick look around your room. Can you spot any parallel lines? I thought you might be able to, because we have parallel lines, lots of different objects around the house. Let's have a look at some that I found around school. You'll recognise these. In the quiet area, we've got these chimes, and they are parallel. Out on the, on the play trail, we've got the climbing frame. The lines there are parallel and these wooden beams are parallel as well. And on the outdoor classroom we've got parallel lines, oh I seem to have lost my other parallel line, let's put it back in. My other parallel line was there. So the main posts are parallel but also these wooden posts are parallel too, because they're the same distance apart. Now, perpendicular lines. Let's see if we can remember what they are. Perpendicular lines are lines that what at a something angle. Can you shout out the words that I need to put in there? That's it. They're lines that meet at a right angle. So here we've got some examples. You can see here we've got there's a right angle there and a right angle there. Again these lines don't meet but if we carried it on it would meet at a right angle. This one we've got four right angles there and here we've got a right angle as well. Now, have a quick glance around your room. Can you spot any perpendicular lines where you are? Great job. Let's have a look. Here's some that I found in school. We've got the top of the container there, where it meets at a right angle. The windows, the wooden, outs wooden part outside the school, and this again is another picture in the play area. 
in the quiet area where we've got two perpendicular lines but they're also parallel to each other, they're the same distance apart. Okay, so today's task. Yellow tasks have got two pages of a sheet to complete and blue task and green task have got these sheets that they've printed off hopefully and we'll be able to complete on that drawing parallel lines and perpendicular lines. Have a go, see how you get on, get a grown up to check your answers and then remember to send it in because we are loving to see how hard you are all working. Really great job. Anyway, tomorrow's lesson will be available from five o'clock today and in the meantime, have fun, take care and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.